Thank you. Thank you so much for what you do. My, uh, my daughter, 13-year-old, brought a report card home last uh, Friday. It was the end of her semester. And she said, here, Papa, here's my report card, and I'm tired of watching television anyhow. Which uh, gave me a pretty good indication of what her report card looked like. She did not have the advantage of Head Start, um, but a lot of kids do. And, you know, it's interesting because in your business, you call them kiddos, and in our business, we look at numbers. And sometimes we forget that they're Megan and Josh and John and Sarah. Uh, we have a tendency not to see the individuals, not to see the children that are so very important to us. And that's what your being on the Hill today does for those of us who strictly look at numbers. We talk about statistics. As you all know, we have tough uh, economic times in America today. It's not easy. And there's some tough decisions that have to be made. But I think you've seen over the course of the last couple of years, in spite of the difficult times we face in America, that Head Start and early childhood learning is one of our priorities. It's not easy to be able to not only sustain the equal level of funding that you've had in the past, but actually increase it as well. So as you're traveling from office to office, I think you do probably need to thank the members from your delegation for being willing to make you one of their priorities. And it's not you, it's Sarah, and Megan, and Josh. And those are the people that we're trying to help because ultimately we made a determination that early childhood learning, head start, early start, is the way to go. I hope. <laughs> Sorry about my, uh, my other daughter, she just started teaching. This is her first year, she's 23, got her first job. Uh, teaching at some West Yellowstone, Montana. And of course, it's not very big, so she teaches K-12, uh, Spanish, and government. Pretty exciting for her. But when we first got here, she was 13 years old. When we first got to Washington, people would come up and say, you Congressman Denny Reber's daughter. That's all they'd ever say. Kind of bug her. She went up to Wom and said, Mom, is that all I am? And she said, no, Kate, tell them a little bit about yourself. You're 13, you live on a ranch, and you're from Montana, you sing, you dance, you know. Tell them some of your interests. Which you know, the first person that ran into her after that little speech was Speaker Hasker. Speaker Hasker came up with his arm around her and said, Do you, Congressman Denny Reber's daughter? She looked up and said, That's not what my mom says. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta be careful what you uh, you gotta be careful what you tell kids, huh? Yeah. You never know what's gonna be repeated back home. So I hope Rosa DeLauro stops by. She's my counterpart. I'm the chairman of the committee that funds Head Start. She's the ranking Democrat, and she and I, a number of years ago, started a, uh, a new program uh, called the Baby Caucus. And the Baby Caucus's specific purpose is to recognize uh, the fact that we have probably ignored the three most important years of a child's life, zero to three. And so we've taken the time to talk about uh, abuse, nutrition, educational opportunities and such. It's been a real delight to uh, co-chair now, besides filing, to co-chair the Baby Caucus of Congressman Rosa. So I hope she stops by and talks to you a little bit about it. But again, uh, I won't delay your breakfast. I know you've got food, you've got uh, uh, people to see. And I just, again, want to thank you for being willing to come to Washington, uh, not just to educate, to inform us of the great things that are going on. We love your program in Montana. You're very supportive, and in fact, I have to be supportive because if I wasn't, they would make me be. <laughs> and it's all because of the good work you do and the fabric that you create within the community. You are helping truly to build a more secure future for this nation, for your individual states, your communities, but more importantly, the kids that you represent. So thanks for being here. Thanks for giving me the